their ancestry is from this area and they ended up back here. And then there's another one that we'll show here in just a moment, but isn't that beautiful? And uh, I think there's two, two more. And she took window frames, mm -hmm. literally window used frames, frames, and used them as the frames, kind of like you're looking out and seeing this. And she did one of the waterfall, then she did another one of Joseph, and she did another one here. Jonah What's the, and uh, the whale. Uh, I forgive me, I like Jonah the and the whale. This one, this is and Jonah and the whale. There's Jonah and the whale. Now, isn't that an I incredible? I like that picture. That just, uh, that just, uh, uh, and, and so taking, <coughs> taking artwork and doing something with the artwork, uh, uh, she oh said God. this gives her that, uh, uh, that pleasure that she knows that she's dealing with uh, the creative side within her. She's dealing with it in a way that she feels complete and whole and happy. And she knows it brings, ple brings pleasure to others, but it also brings pleasure to God. I love this one, the Rose of Sharon, mm -hmm. the Lily of the Valleys, uh, right here. And, and that one, it just shines out so wonderfully. And I told her, I said, boy, those flowers really I pop. And that's the word I used. I said, they pop. I said, that's a flat background, isn't it? She said, yes. Mm -hmm. She said, then I use the acrylic paints and what have you. And she just did Very a talented. tremendous, tremendous job right here and look at those the framing those are literally old window frames uh and she just used what was uh in a house somebody was getting ready to tear down a place near them i believe and then uh and so she said i, I just and i sh saw some of her other works and pictures sue and i were uh, that works here at the station she had uh, uh showed us uh this book of pi uh, pictures you know of an album. An, an album thank you of of, pictures of, of, of all the pictures of her portrait. i won't say all the pictures. works but a lot of the works and uh, i saw that one yesterday job. when she was here i saw the the one of jonah and the whale you know as many times as i've ever heard that story mm -hmm. read it many times told it many times never one time have i ever thought about jonah and when i saw that picture and i thought what in the world was he thinking what were his thoughts as that whale was coming forth to swallow him? You know, and I, I, for the first time yesterday, I've missed that all these years. You know, you know the story, mm -hmm. and you, you, you picture him in the belly of the whale, or the, the big fish. The Bible calls it a big fish. And, you, you, you know, you imagine what he was thinking while he's inside. But can you imagine what he was thinking when he saw that thing swimming toward him? Well... I mean, just the terror of, oh, no, what have I done now? <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> I tell you what, the, uh, uh, well, yeah, that makes you, it makes you wonder. I never, until first. I saw that, and I saw him hanging there, and then the, <clears throat> the fish swimming toward him, and it just, it just hit me yesterday. I think it all happened so fast and so furious that there was just sheer terror. I don't oh, think it yeah. was a word as much as it was the terror. The terror. You know, the, our, 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 the articulation of particular thoughts yeah. other than, <laughs> you know, just screaming, and uh, but uh, I just I love that uh, that one. I guess is my favorite. And I guess because of that, I just I just thought it just to see him there bobbing up and down in the waters. I love the one thing, Lisa. The the, the person said this this teacher thought they knew more than than the student, <clears throat> and they said, surely the teacher said, surely you don't believe the Bible. Surely you don't believe that a, a great fish or a whale, but a great fish swallowed Jonah. Surely you don't believe that. And the student looked up at the teacher and said, listen, if the Bible said that Jonah swallowed the whale, Mm -hmm. I would believe that. Mm -hmm. And so it just showed that there was this blind, strong, stubborn faith and, uh, and a good bit of humor uh, mixed in. But uh, we learn so much, yeah, so much, from, again, from reading this book. And artists can draw strength. They can draw ideas. They can draw... Uh, inspiration. Mm -hmm. Thank you, inspiration. Whether you're writing books, fiction or nonfiction, you're an artist. You're, like I said, you're a, um, whatever your industry, whatever your vocation, if you are a father, mother, sister, brother, uh, son, daughter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can become a better whatever it is. And, and we're all different things. I'm a father. I'm a son. I'm a brother. One of the most beloved brothers. Denise is back here running the director equipment out. You can't. She's laughing right now. She's sure. now you're not allowed <laughs> to bring up anything on the bottom of the screen. Uh -huh. But one of the most beloved brothers on the face of the earth. 
I always thought when they were crying and stuff like that, but now I know it was love. Mm -hmm. When I was a little boy, I used to put little pins. You would torture your I, sister. I, 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 was, I, was, I had a little <laughs> mischievous side to me. A little? Well, I'm being... A lot. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Being kind. I, I wasn't mean. I don't I think just, Denise would say a little mischievousness. Maybe I think sadistic she would say a or lot. something. Uh, really sadistic. But I used to sit there and listen and wait for him to scream. <laughs> Boy, it, it worked too. You and might as well tell him. What he would do is he would take pins and bend them and stick them under the... You know how they'll have runners going upstairs? You would put the pins under the runners so they would have no choice but to step on them. And then as they step on them, you'd lay there and score, you'd laugh as they were screaming. I was always in you the were bed mean. and they were you doing were that. You were a mean child. Then I figured out that they could step to the side and get past them. And so I heard them, and then the next night I figured, and then, so I put them in the rug um, in front of the bed. And then that didn't work, and then I would, they would think they were getting by everything. Then when they would jump and dive, I'd hear them run and dive. Then the next night I had them in the bed waiting on them. How old were you so, at this time? I don't know. I was about seven, eight to <laughs> nine, something like that. I hope you don't sow what you read. We're out of time, <laughs> folks, but uh, keep. Don't let the boys watch this program. I won't. Okay. <laughs> keep living your faith now. We love you, and we appreciate you. Thank you for watching Living Faith Now. We know that God has blessed you in yet another divine way through Living Faith Television. You are why Living Faith Television is here. If you value the outreach of this ministry, we invite you to become a Living Faith monthly partner with your prayers and finances.